Hey everybody, this is Dry Fly Rye at the Get Up and Grow channel. That's right, uh, one of the new things that uh, I just did is I changed the name of my channel and my username um, to something that's a little bit more fitting. Um, Dry Fly Rye has been my username for about, uh, like everything forever. So I just obviously use that when I send it for YouTube. But it didn't really fit my channel theme, so I changed it. I'm now Get Up and Grow. It was kind of a slogan. Now it's my name. Now it's the name of the channel. So, um, yeah, that's the big thing. It is March 15th today. Um, it's snowing. And as sick of winter as I am, it's pretty. So I thought I would start this intro out here a little bit. Uh, what do I got going on today? Today I'm going to transplant those onion seedlings into pots and I'm also going to start my broccoli cabbage and kale seeds today so let's go inside and do that right I think my onion seedlings are ready to be transplanted um, there's not a whole lot of soil in this little tray but it's been working out great you can see that they're doing great um, but I think it's time to get them into some bigger pots so the roots can develop a little bit further. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take them out of here and we're going to put them into there. That's one thing on our list. Um, but before we do that, I want to show you what I got for my birthday. My birthday was yesterday. I'm not going to tell you how old I turned. Um, but my wife and kids, they were kind enough to get me a cake. And after we were done eating the cake, I said, hey, you guys got me a birthday present and didn't even know about it. They got me a humidity dome here for seed starting. This was a cake container. And it made the perfect little seed starting kit. Um, right now I've got my eggplant seedlings in there. have five out of the six because actually well now two of them have sprouted this one one had sprouted over here and actually the root had gotten so big the tap root had gotten so big that I had to pot it right away so that's why there's only five out of the six in here this one just came up and that root's starting to come down too um while I'm on that subject I want to tell you that I'm not sure I'm that impressed with these pea pellets anymore I mean, I love them. Uh, they're a perfect little home for the seeds to, to germinate in. But what I'm finding is, with things like my peppers and things like um, the eggplants, the taproot is growing very quickly straight down. And it's actually getting caught in the netting on the bottom. And when I was transplanting a couple of my peppers, um, when I had taken off the netting, I would actually broken a couple of the roots. They seem to be fine, but I don't like to break roots. That's just not... I'm not down with that. So, while they say to wait for the first true leaves to come up before you transplant, I think with these jiffy peat pellets, you got to do it sooner um, before the root starts to get tangled. And it's not so bad around the sides and around this part. But here, I'll give you a close-up if you come in here. Right in the middle, where all the netting starts to bind together, when the tap root comes out of there, it really starts to get mangled in there. It's just not that good, so I don't know. I've got a ton of these things, so I'm going to continue using them this year. But I think maybe next year I might try something different. Maybe the, the cells and just some seed starting mix, but we'll play it by ear. Not a huge issue, but if there's going to be a downfall to these, that's going to be it. The plus side is I love how they're just easily manageable, and you can pick them up and move them around, and you can manage them a little bit easier. But back to my little birthday gift. A nice black tray, um, so it kind of absorbs the heat from the light and that kind of thing, keeps the, the medium warm. It's got this little channel bill built into it, which holds water, so you can actually self-water these. It won't let water out because the, the, the ridge is big enough. And it has the perfect little uh, humidity dome. It's been working out great. You set it right on top there, you can click it in, and um, you're good to go. So, always got to be thrifty. If you can find things like this, use them. Don't pay money for it. If you've got some, something laying around that you can use, go for it. 
you know, it doesn't, you don't need to have fancy equipment to do this kind of stuff. So, I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was kind of neat. Alright, let's do these onions. Alright, now what we're going to do to transplant these seedlings is we're going to attempt to loosen these up. And then we're going to try to plant a couple of them into these pots. Um, this is the first time I've done this, so if I screw up, at least you'll know what not to do. So the first one we're going to start with is this one, the Walla Walla. And we're going to make this whole row Walla Wallas. So I got here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, about 20. 20 divided by 5 pots. I'm going to try to put 4 in each pot. Um, so what I'll do is I'll make, with my little pen here, 4 holes in each pot. Now this soil isn't very, I mean it's moist, it's not dry, but I think if I had moistened it a little bit more, it would have been a little bit better. But it seems to be making some nice holes, so we'll just go with it. Alright, so we got our holes in our pots. Now we're going to have to try to carefully loosen this soil here so we can easily take out our seedlings. We want to be very careful. Alright guys, that's one down, um, 14 more pots to go. Um, as you can see, I had to kind of make the holes a little bit bigger than original to, to, to uh, get the roots in there um, without hurting them too much. Um, getting them out of the original soil wasn't too much of a problem. And I think we're going to have success. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you already have, I thank you very much. Uh, try to spread the word that I got this little channel going on. Um, and uh, just stay tuned to check out the onions and how they grow throughout the year. So uh, hopefully they'll turn out good, all right? I gotta go control my kids. They're breaking something in there. Bye, guys.